Hey friends, welcome to another uh, review. Today I'm checking out the Cybolt uh, C011 portable power station. This comes with three AC outputs, a cigarette lighter adapter, two um, USB-Cs input. We can charge it with our solar panels. We can charge it with uh, this, just plug it in the back. Got this handy little um, uh, handle on the top. Uh, super easy to tote around. You can use this in your RV, you want to power stuff if you're taking it camping. Has a nice little light on here too with the touch of a button. It's going to show you the battery indicator here on the front, how many watts is being used and how long that's going to last you. Uh, so we got full batteries it's using three watts and it's going to last 99 hours. You can do like a SOS thing or like a, just a flashing or turn it off. So plug this in, like I said, you can charge it with the wall outlet, uh, you can charge it with the solar panels, hook that up. I'm going to run some stuff on here to show you guys how, how it works. Um, probably throw it on some solar panels if it's not raining outside. And yeah, just handy to have these around, you know, you can plug in your fridge, um, things like that, just to make sure like, hey, if the power goes out, you can, this one has like a thousand watts, um, so you can run, uh, a lot of different things, lights, um, TVs, uh, computers, things like that. Just not like some with like a high wattage, like uh, hair dryers and microwave and junk like that. Sometimes you use like quite a bit, stoves, etc. Um, element heaters, things like that. But a lot of little stuff, like you want to keep the lights on in your house so the power goes out for quite a while, like run some lamps and stuff like that. These are super handy. Um, let's test it out and show you guys how well, how well it works can't talk right now and then uh, give us our final thoughts on it all right so here I have an oil heater plugged in and you can notice if I change the uh, crank it up a little bit hotter that stays the same but if I switch it to like level two bumps up the uh, wattage quite a bit and it says overload. So this is rated at uh, 1500 watts. So that's nice. You can see it automatically stops if it's overload. We can bump that down. And you know, press this button to clear it and to turn this off. So if you do plug something in here, you can turn it on by holding the button down. That'll turn that on. You see the little light comes on. So it has a nice little fail safe there. Um, and then it shows us how much we're running at this one at. So 787 watts. It's going to take about, will last about an hour on here. I could turn on the LED. Doesn't really use much energy there. I can plug in uh, different things here. I have my microphone here. I can plug this in, charge that up. So that's charging too. You can see it hardly uses anything to charge it up. Not really a spike in uh, things. But yeah, you can, you can plug your refrigerator in here. Um, a ton of different things. So super useful. Uh, if I want to, like a lot of um, like inflatables, like uh, compressors and stuff, you use cigarette lighters for cars still. Um, so you can take this camping and if you need to like inflate your mattress or your um, um, rafts or things like that you just plug it right in there and fire up your little compressor or your uh, your pump so it makes it a lot easier right, unplug the heater you can see now that this charges uses two watts so that's going to last us 99 hours okay guys got my solar panel out here and uh, this just plugs in here so the input I think it just adapts Oh, perfect. And uh, yeah, we can zoom in on that real quick. I'll give you guys a look, see here on the thing. And it tells us, um, can we see that or not? Sorry, I'm, I'm blinded by the sun behind me. So I'm, yeah, I think we can. So we can see it's charging up there and how many watts it's working on. I'm sitting, uh, partially blocked on this um, thing but yeah you just plug in your you just plug in your solar panels here and that's going to charge up oh well i get out of the way and the 
of the sunlight and that really jumps the wattage up to like 50. So, cause I was blocking it. But yeah, um, take it camping. This could be super handy. Throw out your, um, your uh, uh, solar panels. All right, friends, so final thoughts on this. Um, super helpful for like camping or anything like that. I mean, you can just throw this in your tent, throw your solar panels out during the daytime, charge up all your stuff. You can also, while this is charging, you can still run stuff, plug in your phones, plug in your lamps or whatever you need, plug in your um, compressor to charge up or to inflate your rafts and things like that if you're going on the river. And then at night, you can plug in whatever lights you need, keep your devices charged up. And, uh, you know, it has, I like how the fan just kicks on. It's super, it's got this nice metal shell, so it's durable. The handle's sturdy. You can carry around easy, easy to port, portable. Um, yeah, just like a, a super handy device to have, you know, even if the power goes out um, and your house, this is going to be able to run your fridge for a while. Obviously, it's not for a few days or whatever, um, but usually power outages don't last uh, super long, maybe a couple hours or something like that. So this is convenient power goes out at night, you can throw on some lamps, throw on some lights and things like that, and it's going to take care of you, or you can just turn the light on that's on here. So that's uh, nice, very convenient, um, handy to have for sure. Thanks for watching this review, my friends. Um, whew, you guys have a great day, and I'll see you all next time. Hey, Boogie. Boogie Cat.